Here's a quick look at the new features in the Buchla Program Manager application. Uh, none of these things will affect how great your things sound. It just makes it easier to find the sound you want. So let's go ahead and select a preset here. And where we're going to find some of these great new features is in the notes. So here we can uh, see the existing notes for it. But now there's tags, and um, we can take a look, and we can just go ahead and add different tags that are appropriate. If we want, we can enter a new tag here. So we can call this fun, and it adds that. And uh, notice the red Xs in these. That means that none of these tags are actually currently used by any of the presets in our database. Um, so you can just go ahead and delete them if you would like. Um, because they may, as things grow here, they may get at, in your way. You can notice that I've assigned fun to this, but it has not yet been saved, so it has the red X. Let's go ahead and save the program. And uh, we can go ahead and um, add some other things. So we have the notes, tags, and now we have the author database. Um, this was done by Kurt Kurosaki. Uh, let's say you make radical changes to it, and now you feel like you are the author. So you can go ahead and change your author name, if that's already been used, or type in a new one. And again, we have to save the program. And we can go ahead and uh, change this to as before. And we'll go ahead and save as. So now that's a whole new preset. Um, now, the other thing we can do is we can uh, search through all of our presets. So this list can get pretty long. Uh, and as you add more presets and add more artist banks, uh, things are going to get a bit overwhelming. So you can select the uh, search bar here, and you can filter everything. So we can just look at ones by Nibor. Uh, there's only one. I guess I got some work to do. Uh, we can look at the ones from uh, Todd Barton, and there's quite a few in here. Um, and these are all the tags that are used by his Preset, so we can go ahead and filter them. Notice we have the and selected, so it's going to be uh, Todd Barton and Bright, and that really narrows it down. Uh, we can do or, so we can have all of the ones by Todd Borton, Bar Barton that are bright or melodic or percussive. So that way we can sort of limit what our presets are and go ahead and select one of those presets. Uh, and then if you kind of want to reset your filters, you can do that here and select between AND and OR.